Hello guys and welcome to this new example on run scan. So we want to determine the run scan of the solutions of um, the differential equation y prime 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 plus 2y prime prime minus y prime minus 2 by equal to 0. So this is like a 2 in 1 problem. We are solving a third order differential homogeneous differential equation and at the same time we are determining the wrong scan of the solutions. So let's dive in immediately to the solution. So the first thing is to find the solution of this third order homogeneous differential equation. So for y prime 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 plus 2y prime prime minus y prime minus 2y equal to 0, the characteristic equation is, <coughs> we have, let me use lambda, I have lambda cube plus 2 lambda squared then minus lambda minus 2 equal to 0 so this is my characteristic equation so um, let's simplify the characteristic equation now you can see that in this term and this term lambda square is common so lambda square into lambda plus 2 then in this term and this term negative 1 is common so minus 1 into lambda plus 2 equal to 0 so for lambda plus 2 common in these two terms i'll have lambda square minus 1 then lambda plus 2 okay equal to 0 when you factorize then <coughs> when you simplify this one using difference of two squares you have lambda minus 1 we have um lambda let me say lambda plus 1 lambda minus 1 then lambda plus 2 then equal to 0 so we have the roots of the characteristic equation are minus 1 and we have 1 and we have what um, negative 2 so for the roots of the characteristic equation to be minus 1 1 and 2 respectively therefore we have um, our y1 corresponding to the first roots can be written as um, exponential minus t let me use um, the t variable then i have my y2 can be written as exponential t okay exponential minus t is exponential minus 1t and exponential t is exponential 1t and y3 is um exponential <coughs> minus 2t so uh, these are the base form of the solutions i'm not going to write the general solution of course if you want to write the general solution you have your y is equal to c1 exponential minus t plus c2 exponential t plus c3 exponential minus 2t this is the general solution but these are the like bare form or the base form of the solutions and we are now going to determine the run scale of exponential minus t exponential t and exponential negative 2t and determining the run scale we are going to have this matrix over here we have exponential negative t exponential t and exponential minus 2t so differentiating this term you have minus exponential minus t differentiating you have exponential t differentiating you have exponential um, minus 2t multiplied by um, minus 2 like this and differentiating this one again which is the second derivative of this one you differentiate it you get exponential minus t because this minus sign will be neutralized when this one comes down again differentiating this you get exponential t and finally differentiating this you get 4 exponential minus what 2t so if you are finding the wrong scan the wrong scan of exponential minus t exponential t and exponential minus 2t you have okay factor out what is common in the first column exponential negative t is common okay so the first column becomes 1 minus 1 and 1 in the second column exponential t is common so the second column becomes 1 1 1 and in the third column exponential negative 2t is common and becomes 1 minus 2 then we have 4 so when we resolve these determinants what are we going to get so we have this place this and this gives you 1 okay exponential minus t times exponential t is exponential zero and this is one times exponential negative two t is exponential negative two t and evaluating these determinants then i have into so taking 
from this place i'll have one okay so evaluating the minus of one okay evaluating the minus of one i have one times four four then um one times negative two is negative two so i have a four plus two here okay so one times four four minus minus two okay and i have minus one into so evaluating the minus of this is this times this is negative four then this times this is actually a plus two again and finally evaluating for this i have plus one into minus one times uh one is minus one and minus one and one times one is one so there's minus one here so when you evaluate it this way your wrong scan of uh, exponential minus t exponential t and exponential minus 2t gives you exponential negative 2t into 4 plus 2 is 6 then one half minus you have negative 4 um plus 2 is negative 2 is that okay negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2 and when you interface negative 2 with this minus sign over here it becomes a positive 2 and finally um, 1 times minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2 it's still going to be minus 2 over here so you have our run scan to be 6 exponential negative 2t and it's not equal to 0 so our run scan is 6 exponential minus 2t the implication is that exponential minus t, exponential t, and exponential minus 2t are linearly independent. Okay, linearly independent. So, this is how we um, evaluate long scan and from differential equations when you get the solution you test it without the arbitrary constant and uh, you will get okay um the value of the run scan which you can use to predict whether the solutions are linearly dependent or linearly independent so that's it for this problem um like share subscribe hit the notification button to stay updated and i'll see you in another video